Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, um, somebody left this in the comments and I thought it was a really good idea. I was actually already thinking of doing it. It was a fall essentials video. So I'm going to share some of my favorite fall pieces that I think would be really good purchases for the fall winter months. And if I don't already own it, I'll also throw in a few things that I'm lusting after. So it'll be like a favorites video slash wish list of mine. So the first item I would recommend for fall is a pair of cowboy boots. Personally, I find it's a little bit cooler if you could find a vintage pair but there's lots of really nice new ones as well so I'll link um, I'm really lusting after a pair of the MSGM uh, they're a pair of white cowboy boots I really like them and they're not too western looking I feel like you could really wear them you know for years to come and you can kind of get away with pairing them with a little bit more so the pair I got, I got from a vintage seller online. They were made in the USA. They came from Texas and the brand is Nakona Boots. And I thought based on the price that they were not real snakeskin, but I think when I got them, they are actually. And I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Um, I know, I guess people would probably call me a hypocrite because I do buy things that have leather. Like I'm gonna show you a leather jacket soon. But if you could buy something like this vintage, it is a little bit better, but it is what it is. I'm going to get some use out of them, so they're not going to waste, which I feel better about, but I'll show them to you. I think they're really cool, and I envisioned them in all wearing all black, or I mean, you could pair them with anything, but yeah, I feel like when you wear all black and just these, they really stand out. They are, I think, actually a men's. So they're a little bit wider in the toe here. They're actually surprisingly really, really comfy. They're maybe slightly big on me, but um, I don't mind. They're really, really comfy. They're a good heel height, not too high. And so you can walk in them. And yeah, they're definitely worn, but well taken care of. And you can see the bottom, they're that much worn, but yeah, I really, really like them. And for anyone wondering if you happen to come across this brand online, like I said, it's Nakona. Um, I got a men's size 8 and normally I would be a men's size 7.5 so like I said they're a little bit big but I prefer to kind of wear like a thicker sock with a boot like this and they're really comfy and whoever had them before surprisingly like they broke them in perfect for my foot like they're absolutely perfect so I would really recommend going the second hand route. If you're here in Toronto a really good store is Flashback Vintage. They have tons of cowboy boots. There's one along Queen and then also check the stores in Kensington to market tons of cowboy boots as well so next thing I'd recommend for fall is a black leather jacket so if you guys do want to see a video on my favorite leather jacket I have it's the um, Ducci brand I think I'm pronouncing that properly and I got a size medium and this is the Tanya leather jacket I'll show it to you again because I really really like it and then I'll also show you a vintage find that I recently got so here is the Ducci or Ducci London I don't know really how you pronounce it it is a really really incredibly soft buttery lambskin. It is so soft, so comfy, very warm. What's unique about this is it's a cropped but it has a very oversized sleeve and it just gives it a unique look. It has a belt around the bottom. I got this in a size medium so it fits true to size. It's meant to be worn oversized though so a size medium on me for tops that's typically my correct size and it, it fits perfectly. It's just slightly oversized so you can layer pieces underneath but it is a definitely a more expensive piece. I actually got this at TNT in Yorkville in Toronto. Um, they carry this brand. You could order it online, but depending where you live, you know, you might incur some duties. In the back, it just looks like that. But this, I feel like I will never get rid of. I just, I absolutely love this one. And if something from that brand is not within your budget, because definitely, you know, that is an investment piece. I always wanted the Acne Studios leather jacket for so long that a lot of people really like. It's extremely expensive. And to be honest, I've tried it on before. It's quite heavy. Um, I like it on myself, but I far prefer that Tanya leather jacket. So um, I'm glad I got that, even though it was expensive. It's like less than half the cost of the Acne Studios one. But... Another really good tip, again, if you're in Toronto, um, Flashback Vintage has tons of vintage leather jackets or, um, again, all the stores in Kensington, just take a look. But this one I found, and I think the guy gave it to me for about $115 Canadian. I think it was marked $130. I think he got it for $110 or $115. Um, 
again, like this is a vintage jacket. I did get it clean. The only thing with the leather, because it's pretty old, it does feel a little bit dry. So I'm going to try moisturizing it again. I did send it away to get reconditioned and cleaned, but it still is a little bit dry. But it's a very similar style to that one. It's a cropped one, has a belt around the bottom. Um, the shoulders are definitely a little bit more exaggerated has this. It is, um, it does have the thermal thin sleigh in it. So this one is better for winter. This was a size large. Um, it is a little bit big in the shoulders for me, but I don't mind. Like, I think this is a good layering piece and the back just looks like that. And, um, it was kind of funny when I put my hand in the pocket, there was like a, an old earring that it looked straight out of the 80s it was like all dangly and it was like kind of tarnished but I just thought that was funny like anyway I had it cleaned but I can see the previous owner they must have had a pin here so there is a little hole there but I actually didn't mind because I thought maybe you could put like a Chanel brooch or something else there just to kind of give it some pizzazz but so this is always an option. I was surprised when I tried this on in the store, there was a couple other girls in there. I was asking their opinion and I could tell they didn't really like it, but I was like, I don't even know why I asked their opinion. I love it. So again, look in vintage stores. The next item I would recommend for fall is actually the piece I'm wearing right now. This is from Ghani. And you've probably seen online, there's tons of brands over the past like year or two. They've made these kind of like a mesh turtleneck. So I really like the front of this one is double lined. So the front part of it has a layer of black underneath and then the back part is a little bit more sheer. Um, same with the arms, a little bit more sheer. I got the size eight US in this and online, whatever website I ordered it from, it said that equated to like a size medium. And actually the model I think was wearing a size eight and I looked about the same size as her. So I figured this will be the right size. It fits absolutely perfect. Um, it's long enough that you can tuck in. This particular brand, even if you can't find this print, they have lots of other prints. Like they do this turtleneck in mini prints. I really like it. Um, I like wearing green because I have green eyes. Um, I find obviously, you know, people have blue eyes, they look good in blue, but I really like green on myself. And I just think it's a perfect fall piece. It's a really good layering piece. Like it's definitely thin enough. You're not gonna overheat in it. Like, you know, a big chunky cowl neck turtleneck. There's also tons of other brands that do very similar turtlenecks. They have lots on Essence, so you can always just search turtlenecks on there. I'll maybe put up a couple that I like on the screen here. I should also say it wasn't a mesh one, but on Essence, I saw Victoria Beckham. It was a really dark green turtleneck that I absolutely loved. I think they're sold out of my size. It is a little bit pricier, but just myself, I really like turtlenecks. I know I would wear that for years to come, so I might check other websites to see if they have it, so I'll just put it up here. So the next thing for fall or winter, I would still really suggest like a teddy or shearling coat. So for the teddy coat, I've shown it before, you can watch um, my video on it. So the sizing for it is extremely large. So I got the size small. Um, the version that I love, I wanted to bring this coat up because I absolutely love and I think actually if I didn't own the coat, if I could get it in this color, the, the green khaki color, I adore that color. It's beautiful. And like I said, if you happen to travel, we got, um, it was a gift, but I got it in Italy and it was only like 50% of the cost here. So there's no way I would pay full price in Canada. Even 50% is still a lot of money, but it's more justifiable, obviously. So you could get two for the price of one if you and your friend want to go there. Um, I'm not sure, you know, that was before the pandemic that we got it. So who knows what the prices of stuff is right now, but just wanted to put that out there. They also have a shorter cropped like a moto style jacket of the teddy coat, which I think is really cute. If you don't wanna spend a lot of money on a jacket, this one I really like. I got it last year from H&M and I think, I think this was very popular, so I'm assuming they will bring it back. This was a size small and it's that long oversized shearling jacket and it kind of has like a faux suede on the inside. It's really, really warm as well. Um, has, you know, a lot of pockets in it. I really like this and I've noticed a lot of other brands are making similar ones. And if you want a shorter version, I got this shearling jacket from Zara a few years ago. It's actually, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, it's almost like a pistachio green color and it's the exact same on the inside. It feels the exact same. It's kind of like a faux suede. And what size is this? I got a size medium and it's very oversized and I got it on sale. It was only around $30 Canadian and I really like this as well.
Next item I would recommend is a really good quality tracksuit. So I will still stand by these Jill Rodriguez tracksuits. They are by far my favorite. I have the jockey pants tucked under there. Um, I get a size medium pretty much in all of her stuff. So both of those pieces are size medium and they fit a little bit oversized. These jogging pants, if you're curvy, definitely try them. They are the best fit for my body. And the detail of the zipper, it's a really good quality um, gold zipper and the collar is nice and thick it stays popped up if you like it the bottom is really nice it just has a tie at the side so you can cinch it up really really love this so next up for fall if you live in a cold climate i would definitely say um if you could invest in one of those like blanket or very like thick scarves so on my wish list is an acne studios one i really like those this one is a very affordable one. I got it from Zara. Um, I can't remember how much it was. It definitely wasn't very much. And it actually makes a huge difference. If you're not someone that normally wears a scarf in the winter months, it really keeps you very warm. Um, so I really like this. I love leopard print. But yeah, definitely the Acne Studio ones I like, as well as the ones from Aritzia. Their blanket scarves, they're really good. I find, um, you know, again, for traveling or say you go to a movie theater or something like that, maybe where they have the air conditioning on, it typically gets cold. You can take it off and use it as a blanket. So it's kind of like double duty. So a sneaker I would recommend, um, you guys, if you've watched my other videos, I typically, if I'm going on a long walk, working out, I really, really like barefoot shoes. I wear those the majority of the time because I kind of had problems with my one foot and my feet are a little bit wide. So I typically either have to buy like maybe a men's running shoe or a wide toe box shoe. But if you're like me, um, even if you don't have wide feet, these would be excellent. I really, really like the New Balance. The It's kind of like their classic dad shoe. And this is the New Balance 530. So they come in unisex sizing, just so keep that in mind. So when I order it, I'm typically a size 9 US. And so I order this in a size 7.5 US men's and it fits perfectly. I actually have four pairs of these different colors. I think I might sell the one pair because I don't wear them too, too much but I really like these ones. These ones are actually brand new. I haven't worn them yet, but I got these from TNT, but I've seen them on lots of websites. They're a very affordable shoe. They just sell out quickly. So just keep in mind, um, you know, they often come in men's sizing, so just double check. Sometimes, depending what website you buy it from, they've already converted it to women's sizing. So just double check if it doesn't say, um, you might email or call the store that you're gonna buy from because yeah, I've run into a couple issues ordering the wrong size because their website does not have the sizing proper. But um, when you get it, it will be a men's shoe. So I am a size nine and I buy a size seven and a half. Um, next up, I was going to mention, I don't actually own one of these, but on my wish list, it would be an unbranded, kind of like a smushy, slouchy purse. So there's a few I saw in Essence. There's also a brand called A Bronze Age and they sell it at Holt Run Through. They're both pretty affordable, um, especially for being sold at a store like that. They're like a hundred and something dollars. And I just, I don't know, I'm kind of getting away from branded stuff. I prefer stuff like that. And it's just like a squishy, slouchy bag for fall. So there's one on Essence I really like. It's a gray version, I'll put it up here. So there's a couple of these purses. There's one from Open Project, A Bronze Age, and Low Classic, and I'll put pictures of them up here. And the next thing I would recommend for fall is a sweater dress. I'm gonna make a different video trying this on, but this one is from Mango. I typically, I don't really luck out with this brand too much, but this is a really good quality piece. So I got the size large in this. I'm just looking at the tag and it says this equates to a US size eight. I definitely could have got the medium because this is oversized, but I actually liked how the large looked on me. It has a very nice um, gold detail zipper. Typically with Mango, I find a lot of the pieces don't feel good quality to me. It's it's one of those brands I really feel you need to feel it in person because if I saw this online, no way in hell would I've ever bought it. But because I felt it, the weight of it is so heavy. The material is so good. It's really, really nice, but I don't like how they styled it online. I got mine at the Bay. Um, yeah, it has a slit up the side, but it's just a really, really nice classic piece. Again, you could wear this forever. It will never go out of style. And I think this would look good with like Doc Martens um, or any sort of black boot, even cowboy boots would look really cool with this as well. Another trend for fall that I really like is the denim dress. And I got this one from Zara. Again, I'll try it on in a different video. I ended up having to get 
the size extra large at Zara and I think it only goes up to an XL. Unfortunately, if you know you think you're bigger than me, this won't work for you, which is too bad because I actually love it. It looks so put together. It was $59.90 Canadian, so not the cheapest, not the most expensive though. But so anyway, I first ordered the size large. I find at Zara a lot of the dresses I do take a size large just because my chest is bigger. And the large fit, um, perfect. The only thing is the button right here was just gaping a little bit and I didn't like how that looked so I decided to get that extra large and I felt because it has a belt here I could cinch it no problem if it was a little bit too big but actually that extra large was almost the exact same like I barely noticed the difference at all and the button is still doing it a little bit but I asked my boyfriend um he doesn't really think it was a big deal so I decided to keep it but it was just weird because typically at Zara I would normally get a medium or large sometimes and just I'm always in between those two sizes so just know if you like this I would size up one to even two sizes if you're curvy. A trend that I'm seeing a lot for fall is mismatched earrings so in one of my last videos I tried on it's um, actually my necklace is the same brand that uh, Justine Cloquet I found her on Essence and she makes amazing very cool jewelry again I got everything I think of hers on sale so it's pretty affordable and I like the different lengths of earrings I'll insert a video or an image of me from the last video I filmed but I would highly recommend her jewelry again on Essence if you don't particularly like this brand there's tons of other mismatched earrings um yeah but I think that's a really cool trend for fall also too if you just want to buy one earring and then keep a stud in your other ear you could easily do that as well but I really I really like her brand so fashion wise my favorite thing in the world is jackets and coats so for fall I have a few favorites here so the first trend I would think that would be worthwhile picking up is something with fringe on it. I find even if it goes out for a year, it always comes back in. So I think if you invest in a piece like this, you can have it for a long time. Both the pieces I'm going to show you are vintage and I got them very, I can't remember, very, very affordable. I found them online. So I think I showed this in another video of mine in the past, but this was a size medium. It's from Bob Mackey. I think this was from his more affordable line. Um, I believe he was the designer that designs a lot of Cher's costumes but when I got this it was vintage from a long time ago but it actually still had the paper on all the buttons it hadn't been worn so it was perfect condition and I really like it it's more like a, a jacket slash shirt like a, I guess a jacket but yeah I really like it it looks good you can do it up or you know leave it open layered over something so I really like this one and they did come in other colors, if you can maybe find it online. I guess just type in Bob Mackie fringe suede jacket. Really like that one. And then the other one, I'm just going to take it out of the dry cleaning bag. This one was just made for me. I actually have not worn this out in public yet because I got it professionally cleaned. It was used, but amazing condition. Um, my boyfriend was laughing. I, I found this one from a vintage seller on eBay. And literally, like, I, I swear, like, five minutes after I bought it, it said it had already shipped. I was like, wow, like, the lady literally, like, must have ran and, like, packed it immediately. And my boyfriend was laughing. He's like, she's probably been wanting to sell that from the 80s. And, like, it's like the Ikea commercial, start your car. <laughs> she went to ship it. But um, somewhere from the state, I think Texas, it came from it's real leather and suede it came from a brand called leather gallery I'm actually not sure what size it is she said it fits like a medium like a generous size medium and look at it I absolutely love it it's red lighting is a little weird in here right now it doesn't um this is coming off a little bit darker but it's not really in person but yeah it's beautiful it's like it's perfect condition it fits me like a glove. I love it. Put it on. It's obviously not going to look good with what I'm wearing. But... Like it just, it fits perfect. And I like that the shoulders are a little bit exaggerated. Yeah, I don't know why on camera this is coming up like it almost looks dirty. But it's, it's not. It's just a little bit like the leather has aged a bit. But um... Yeah, and it's cropped. 
the buttons do up perfect. It's just like the perfect coat. I feel like I need to go to Nashville in this. Next fall essential is a black puffer jacket. I know probably some people think these are played out, but honestly, it's something you will use year after year. This one I really like. I got at Zara, again, I can't remember, within the last couple years, but they always bring um, something like this back. And it almost has like a, almost like a weird velvety texture to it. It was very affordable. Really like this one. Um, I'll also put up on the screen, there's, I believe it's called the Crofton. It's from Canada Goose. It's a newer version and it is a men's jacket, but it's unisex either or could wear it. I tried it on the other day in the store and I really like it. I first noticed it on Essence on the model, but then I couldn't find it on the Canada Goose website and I went into the store. The man's like, oh, it's actually a men's jacket. So I found, I tried on both the small and medium because it's a men's. And to be honest, I didn't really notice that much of a difference, but the man in the store told me he would go for the medium. He thought it looked a little better on me. For reference, if you're around my size, probably the small or medium in the men. Another trend for fall that I really see a lot of stores doing are quilted jackets. And I got this, this is actually a men's jacket. It's Acme Studios, one of my favorite brands. And this was more advertised as a shirt, like a satin shirt, but it's definitely a jacket. And yeah, so that sort of quilting is what I like. It has the, let me see if I can show you. And it has the, it has the Acme Studios, um, has that Acme Studios little logo there. And they actually have, which I thought is so cute, um, the little face, the logo stitched into the jacket. And yeah, I thought that was really a cute little detail. I should have got the size small in this, I wanted it very oversized so I got the size medium it's a men's though and I should have known acne tends to fit a little bit oversized so it is a little bit too big um, the bonus is this actually fits my boyfriend normally he would take a size large though so it fits him so maybe if he wanted to he could wear it as well um, so I do think probably I should have got the small but I don't mind it I, I like it really oversized the only thing I will warn you because they have labeled this as a shirt there's not pockets on the outside, which is a little annoying, but there is a really good pocket um, on the inside. It's very deep. You can put stuff there and it has like a button closure so nothing will fall out. And it's very, very warm. Like I can't really imagine anyone wearing this as a shirt. Okay, almost at the end here. So next thing I would recommend is a pair of black combat boots. So probably a lot of you already own a pair of Doc Martens. These are actually my boyfriend's because I sold mine. I used to have the platform ones and they just made me too tall. So I think I will reinvest in just the flat ones like this. So this is his pair. So I really like this version. And a more affordable option is this one I showed last year from ASOS and it's really good. It was actually in their wide foot shoe collection. To be honest, I don't really find it that wide. So if you just have a regular width foot, this would work perfectly fine. These were true to size, a size nine. They're very comfy. Um, I didn't have too much time last year to wear them, but online they actually look a little bit cheaper in person. Um, maybe not how the light is catching it. I think they look a bit better quality in person. So these were very affordable, very comfy. I would really recommend them. Another thing which I mention all the time, but I stand by this blazer, an oversized blazer, um, definitely a black one would be best if you don't have that in your wardrobe. My favorite one is the Totem one. It's called the Loreo blazer. It often goes on sale on Essence or other websites around fall, Christmas time. I get the size medium, fits true to size. It's just that perfect oversized look. So get your true size. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's a little bit hard to pick up. I've, I've shown this lots of times though. Best, best oversized blazer ever. If you want a more affordable option, this one is definitely an investment piece, but I have got my money's worth out. Even if I paid probably triple what this was, I got my money's worth out of it. I've worn it so many times. If you want a more affordable option, this was a vintage men's Christian Dior blazer. I just got it tailored to my body because it was too big. I got this for, uh, I want to say it was like 30 some dollars and then a plus the tailoring fee, but it wasn't very much. And this was like a dark gray pinstripe blazer. And yeah, I just got her to take in the shoulders. The shoulders were sitting too far out and she took it in a little bit at the waist. So it had a little bit more shape has the men's Christian Dior there. And it's a really nice 
piece for fall and it looks really nice with the black turtleneck. And the very last thing I would recommend for fall is a very nice scent or a candle. So I don't have both of these candles right now. I've owned both of them in the past. Definitely the Burrito one. I've owned this multiple times. My favorite Burrito candle is the Bibliotech one. And um, obviously, you know, library. So it's supposed to smell like old books, like leather bound books. So it definitely has leather notes. Um, I'm sorry, I'm bad at describing scents, but it's definitely a more masculine warm cozy scent better for colder weather definitely recommend that one and also the tom dixon fire candle both are quite expensive tom dixon's even a lot more but if you really want to give someone a nice gift i would recommend those both would be suitable for men um but i definitely i definitely like more masculine scents and definitely something i probably would not burn if it was warm weather outside so yeah you kind of get the vibe and my favorite scents for fall i'll take you i'll show you a couple of burrito scents that i would recommend i'm going to show you a few scents that i would recommend for fall or winter months so 11th hour sorry about the traffic so 11th hour this reminds me of christmas let me just smell it yep this reminds me of christmas i feel like it smells a little bit of like cinnamon and spice i could see somebody wearing this christmas new year's definitely this is a fall winter month scent i really like this um probably when this one came out i was like the most obsessed with this ever these ones i would suggest these are both ouds if you've never had an oud fragrance i would definitely suggest smelling these in person because they're not for everybody this one's my favorite. Um, this one I used to really like in the past. I recently reordered it thinking I loved it. And I don't know, I just think I like this one a lot more. But this one, I actually prefer the scent of it on my boyfriend. This one I recommend. Again, I could see, this is one, I could see a lot of people hating this or loving it. I don't really think there's an in-between, but if you're in a department store, I would recommend this one. I'm going to not recommend this. So 11th hour, this Oud Immortal. So I said in my last video, I typically don't like rose scented anything, but I adore these two scents. This one, I prefer more on men. Actually, I prefer this one on my boyfriend. And this one I prefer for women. This one smells, it reminds me of a hotel we stayed in in Hong Kong. They had um, in the lobby and throughout like the main level. Um, it was probably like a scented machine that gave it off. But it reminds me of the Cordis Hotel in Hong Kong. And I really like that scent. And I don't know, I just feel like it smells high end, but it's not too overpowering. It lasts a really long time. So this is Diptyque Eau Rose. Oh yeah, yeah, I love this. And this, I feel like is a more, uh, both men and women can wear this, but I feel like this is better suited for men. So personally, those would be my picks for fall and winter. This one, um, these two, you could definitely wear year round. These two, definitely colder weather months. If you live in a hot climate, I don't really think I would recommend those. Um, something I just thought of from Nordstrom every year I always get the Nordstrom butter socks that's what they're called on the label they are $11 Canadian and they're just so cozy soft I like putting lotion on my feet and then wearing these at night or just if your feet are cold they're really really nice um, so usually every winter or fall I always buy myself a new pair that's a great stocking stuffer as well thank you guys so much for watching as always I will try to link everything down below if some things are out of stock I'll try to find similar items Items and let me know um, you know if you really like any of the things I mentioned or if you want me to do any other types of videos just let me know down below bye